Shalom. Barakatah Yahweh, Barakatah Yahweh Shai. Call hello, Yahweh Basham Yahashai, Basham Rechach Barash. Double honors to the apostles, the bishops, and the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations as always to the elect. And as you can see here, all right, more degeneracy, all right. And as the scriptures say, all right, wickedness have exceedingly polluted the earth, all right. And at the forefront of it, we know. All right, as Esau, Edom, and the heathen, but Jake has become the mascot of the very idol gods, all right, that these heathen worship, you see? And um, we know that one of the main gods that is worshiped here, all right, and one of the main vibrations is the devouring of children, all right? These hospitals that are set up, all right, these uh, Planned Parenthood, you know, uh, they're all ultimately hubs of witchcraft, you know, uh, and it's centered around devouring children, you know, and it's very uh, interesting that you have this thing called Planned Parenthood, which is uh, ultimately founded and rooted, all right, and ultimately wickedness, you know, Margaret Sanger, which ultimately says she wanted to exterminate, all right, the Negro race. Okay, and ultimately uh, root out all of the bad weeds. All right, and of course, you know, the rest of the tribes are in that, but we know that the main focus is always going to be the head tribe, Judah. And, you know, you have these hubs, you know, set up in the neighborhoods of Jake. I remember growing up, you know, it was a mall called East Mile Mall, and I always remember seeing Planned Parenthood. Now, the weird witchcraft that you know if you look at the uh, name of it it's planned parenthood now parenthood is the act of being a parent planned is planning so you're planning parenthood all right however the plan when you go to these hubs of witchcraft is to ultimately terminate all right the child the the fetus that's growing inside of you so it's complete wickedness and evil and here it is we see our people all right meg the stallion accepts a planned parenthood award so we're going to listen to a little bit of this and get this article and get a few scriptures <laughs> and uh you know uh basically this is why this place has to be destroyed and this is why the two-thirds are going to melt here in babylon the great you see and we don't feel no type of way about it let's check this out Take it in. Here we go. <laughs> we need to create communities where women can receive sexual and reproductive health care with the love, respect, and compassion that they deserve. I promise to continue to do my part and use my platform to break down barriers and empower women all around the world. And ultimately, she's donated money to them. And again, this is all under the guise of empowerment, you know, and most, you know, most of the women of our nation are living unfulfilled lives because ultimately they're trying to get around the order that the Heavenly Father set them up, all right, to be. And this place is in total disarray. This is not the place to have a family. This is not a place, you know, where uh, raising children is a, is a good thing. However, you know, we're in Babylon the Great. We're going to have children. The Lord, you know, uh, wants particular souls on earth to be delivered. All right. But um, at the end of the day, as you can see, this is complete madness, man. Here it is. This 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 thing. All right. Some say it's a man used to be a man. You know, a stallion is a male horse, uh, whatever the hell it is. Um, it's basically a uh, a. a <laughs> empowering women all right in this thing like when you look at this article let's get this article real quick all right megan the stallion was honored at planned parenthood all right now let's look up the word parenthood real quick <laughs> see if we can uh do a web search on what is parenthood not planned parenthood what is parenthood god damn give me one second parenthood all right, the state of being a parent, position of a parent, right? 
but then they have <laughs> planned parenthood when the plan is to off the seed okay and this 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 is the mindset of the heathen but now who's become the mascot of it jake israel now when you read this article let's go back here megan the stallion was mount uh, honored at planned parenthood of greater new york spring into action gala all right and you have her the sexy reds and they're all targeting the youth you see they're all targeting the youth man all right, and where's all of these these rappers and so-called you know thug men to stand up against this madness? This is why to hell with all of these niggas, man. They all have to be destroyed, and they all gotta go. And give a damn how good their music is. All right, all the the ones who are in this industry, period. They all gotta go. They're all part of the problem. Okay, we listen to you know a certain rap. Now I'm not. I don't listen to this shit right here. But you know these so-called rappers. You know, they go to these award shows. You got niggas like Busta Rhymes. They're sitting there looking at little Nas X twerking and, you know, and, and they don't have a, a damn thing to say. They're looking at the degeneracy. Then they'll go on a podcast and sit down and talk about how, you know, they, they, they've changed their life around and they're so positive now. And, you know, they have the answers and, you know, I changed my life and my thinking. Shut the fuck up, man. May the most high destroy all of you niggas, man, because niggardry got to go. And see, this was the, the mindset of our people before the flood. It was dead set on rebellion. Okay? Last night at Planned Parenthood of Greater New York Spring into Action Gala, all right, Megan the Stallion put it best. My body, my business. Now, they put it under the guise of our women need better health care. Health care to do what? All right, destroy our nation, man. The scriptures tell you a wise woman, let's get the scriptures real quick, builded her house. Okay, build it her house. Let's get the scripture. Proverbs 14 and 1. A wise woman builded her house, but the foolish plucketh it down with their hands. And this is what our women have been weaponized to do. All right. And both men and women of our nation are completely out of order. And why? Because they follow the ways of the heathen. Again, Molech, all right, when you look up the God of Molech, okay, we were always told, all right, to not let our seed pass through the fire because basically these idols, all right, as, as the scriptures say, these merciless murders of children, all right, real quick, let's, uh, let's get that in Wisdom of Solomon, okay, Wisdom of Solomon, all right. The 12th chapter. And let's see here. Wisdom of Solomon 12 and 3 for it was thy will to destroy by the hands of our fathers. All right, Joshua, Caleb, and them as they won all of those wars. Both the old inhabitants of thy holy land because the Canaanites, all of the ites were in that land. All right, doing evil, man, doing wickedness. Right? Whom thou hatest for doing the most odious works of witchcraft and wicked sacrifices, also those merciless murderers of children, devourers of men's flesh and feast of blood. And we see that same environment being set up here in Babylon the Great. All right? And this is what ties us to these idols. Again, Babylon the Great is known as the mother of all harlots. When you deal with harlotry, all right, people think, you know, they're dealing with a this dealing with a woman walking up and down the street, all right, selling her a box. No, this dealing with ultimately idols. And a lot of time you had particular whores that, you know, dealt in uh, uh temples, and ultimately to deal with them, you would have to bow to an idol. They would use the act of sex, all right, to get you over, all right, to adultery, to bow to idols. You, you had temple harlotry. There's a difference between a street walker or a woman who's, you know, shamed and kicked away from her family because of some wickedness she did and her family takes her their name away from her and she's off on the streets and she you know goes and ultimately to protect herself she becomes a harlot that's always been you know the heart a solomon judge between two harlots how wish i told you niggas that particular harlots are going to make it before some of you because they're honest about who they are but anyway 
when you deal with the uh, the the harlotry it's tied to idols see and one of the idols of uh, that israel has continuously played the harlot with is this idol all right of molech okay leviticus 20 and 2 again thou shalt say unto the children of israel all right whosoever he be of the children of israel or that stranger that sojourneth among you that giveth any of his seed unto molech he shall surely be put to death so this is why our people are getting ready to be judged because when yahweh returns he's going to judge by the standard of the law and the people of israel who are not covered under that blood you're going to be held accountable for all of those transgressions <laughs> and the punishment is going to be that fire man this is why the two-thirds melt here in babylon the great now this god molech right and you can look it up and do more research on it but it's a uh, it means king the god of the ammonites and the phoenicians to whom some israelites sacrificed their infants in the valley of hinnom they, they would do it through fire all right but now it's a more subtle way all right by setting up these these uh planned parenthood again the planned parenthood uh, the plan is no plan to be a parent dummy and this is the wickedness that that is before us now again real quick according to the law real quick let's read this my body my business and i do what i want with it that's not true see again these bodies were given unto us to offer up as a sacrifice to Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, not offer up as a sacrifice to these other idols. Because what it does to you is it destroys you and it separates you from your power when you deal with these idols, man. Okay, even the, the, the men with the whole thug thing, the thug life, which a lot of Israelites love to mesh that thug mentality into the truth. It's a, it's a difference between, you know, the standing for righteousness and being serious and manly, austere, and being a goddamn thug. Which thuggies goes back to what? All right, the the these the the Elamites, all right, the I believe it was the Hindu El Elam, whatever. You know the, the thuggies, okay, okay. You can look it up, thuggy. See, strangers of Bombay, all right. You could you can look it up. Thuggies are actions and crimes carried out by thugs, historically organized gangs, robbers and murderers in India. But now, all right, those those gods have been pushed into your culture and it's become a part of your everyday life to where you have a nigga like Tupac set up. OK, talented, right? Used to do what? Usher in thuggy and thug life into your culture under the guise of, you know, and then four years prior to him being a thug, he was a goddamn ballerina. The dude's an actor, a good actor, but he's an actor. But they put that nigga in front of you. All right, this nigga standing in front of, you know, young children talking about sagging your pants is cool. You ain't got to listen to your daddy. Listen to me. That dude was a complete mess. But they put that mess. All right. in poetry and music. All right. Under beats that hypnotize you. And now this becomes your life. This becomes your culture. Now it's a standard thing for a nigga to be a thug. When that, that's a that's a culture that has nothing to do with us. They used to what? All right, uh, uh, wait for people to come travel and they would steal and rob them, put, sometimes put them to death. So now that's what niggas do. See, so these idols have been injected into your culture. All right. And now it's a part of your everyday life. You see, and your body is not your own, as the scriptures say. OK. Let's get that real quick. Not your own, I believe it says. Your bodies are not your own. Let's see here. All right. First Corinthians six and 18 flee fornication. See, flee. We're supposed to flee sin. The scriptures say flee Babylon. How are we to flee Babylon? Do we get on an airplane and leave? No, we flee by turning away from the mindset that's associated with these idols. Flee fornication. OK, and the fornication that Israel committed as a wife to the heavenly father was what bowing and uh, uh, whoring herself to these other gods playing the harlot backsliding. Israel has always played the harlot. And that's the same thing that's going on here. And she's pushing the notion to you people that what? OK. 
plan uh, uh, my body, my business, I do what I want with it. This sentiment, which fiercely advocates for body autonomy and women's rights. Okay, you, you just want the right to destroy yourself. You're, you're being given the right to destroy yourself, your nation, your, your body, and to be a goddamn murderer. <laughs> right? And then walk around the street, all right, as if everything's all right. No. You're being set up for the okie doke. It's being presented to you as liberation, as, you know, the uh, a, a, a victory. But look at the end result. And <laughs> you now lead the league, all right, in wickedness. You see? And these rappers, they get paychecks and they get paid to help further destroy your ass, man. So the Lord just got going to have to destroy all of you niggas, man. All right? Y'all niggas got to go. Flee fornication. Every sin that a man doeth without the body, but he that committed fornication sinneth against his own body. And the fornication that the body Israel has committed is what? Whoring herself to other gods, man. What? All right? Know ye not that your body is the temple of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai? All right? Of the Holy Spirit which is in you, which ye have of the Most High, and ye are not your own. See? You're not here to fulfill the lust of the flesh. It's a battle, but it's the condition of the battle if you understand why we're in this condition anyway. For you are brought with a price, the blood of Yahweh Shai. Therefore, glorify the most high in your body and in your spirit, which is the most high. So these bodies are not ours. These bodies were given unto us to come down here and uplift. All right. And be and be examples of righteousness. See, of our power, which our power says what? Let's get the law. Because niggas don't want to live by any order. And your, your, your enemy has given you the go ahead to rebel and live as witches on the earth. Re re uh, 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 rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, man. Exodus 23 and 26. There shall nothing cast their young nor be barren in thy land. The number of thy days will fulfill. All right. So this man has ultimately weaponized life to where the, 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 the notion of having a child is now associated with bitterness. So the woman wants to continue living her life and she's trying to escape the curse the heavenly father put on her going back to eve through what you know pain through child labor and and that you know that that's your order all right to be a mother to be a wife all right you trying to escape that so because you want to keep going to the club and living your life and going on vacation and you don't want to make your body a, a sacrifice for what the lord set you up for all right you're now casting your young and the nation suffers See, this is why death is at the forefront of black culture. Your culture is now predicated upon death. And the rest of the tribes too, man. Shakal is the word. And I'm going to just go to the point, man. To make barrenness, to show barrenness or abortion. To miscarry. The Lord ain't with that. See? And since that juice then came out, you're having more miscarriages. All right? You're having uh, uh, more complications why do you think that is man because y'all didn't laid around there and you didn't flee fornication we're supposed to flee fornication we're the children of life like the hebrew midwives they said we're not like the other ones man we're we're uh, uh we're, we're the children of life basically this uh something around that man we're we're about life see and our people have become representatives of death the scripture i had earlier Jeremiah 3 and 8, and I saw when for all the causes where backsliding Israel committed adultery, see, played the harlot, all right, by what, joining to idols, okay, it says Israel committed adultery, backsliding Israel committed adultery, I put her away and have given her a bill of divorce, see, because ultimately we made a covenant, all right, with the most high as a bride, as a wife, we agreed to the terms of that covenant. And what did we do? We did everything opposite. That's why we're in this situation we're in. See? But the Lord 
through the blood of his, the most high through the blood of his only begotten son has given us a way back through grace. See, and through this grace period, you know, the Lord has given us the ability to understand our fault, to understand what life is really all about. All right. And to understand why we're in this situation. And through this grace period, you're supposed to be better in yourself. You're supposed to be repenting. Repenting means what? Re again, penance. All right. To feel sorry. But meanwhile, synonymously, the two thirds are just getting worse, man. So the solution is just to burn them all. Go away. You should not want these niggas. You shouldn't feel sorry for them. They got to go. They are a part of the problem. See? <laughs> so the Lord gave us a bill of divorce. He divorced us, man. We weren't called by his name. We were ultimately stranded out here in the earth, and he gave us over to our own ruin. All right? Yet her treacherous sister Judah feared not, but went and played the harlot also. All right? So the elect... Let's get Hosea real quick and we'll end this off. I want to keep looking at that big nigga. I'm tired of niggas, man. This is the book of Hosea 2. All right. Charges against an unate faithful wife, Israel. Plead with your mother. Plead, for she is not my wife, neither am I her husband. Let her therefore be put away. All right. Let her therefore put away her whoredoms out of her sight. And her adulteries from between her breast, lest I strip her naked and set her as in the day when she was born, and make her as a wilderness and set her like a dry land and slay her with thirst. And this is what we were. We were dry bones. That was a judgment that came against us, man. And we deserved it when you understand the whole narrative of the story. All right. And I will not have mercy upon her children, for they be the children of whoredoms. For their mother have played the harlot. Our forefathers, man. You see? This can be used, you know, as a literal mother, but it's ultimately talking about our forefathers, man. And foremothers. They played the harlot. So now we are ultimately living out the results of rebellion against breaking that covenant, man. Now we've been given understanding of why. So what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to choose life. And Esau sees that we're choosing life, so he's sending these agents out here to ultimately keep you in that uh, uh that 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 circle of wickedness man so that he can blame you see he wants to continuously blame us so he sends these wicked niggas out here to do this he puts them all on the tv he puts them all on the internet the camera's always on a wicked niggas face so that this can be the standard of who we are so that he can blame you he's the accuser of the brethren see but the remnant elect, this is our mindset, all right? For their mother have played the harlot, all right? I'm going to show you our mindset. And she that conceived them have done shamefully. For she said, I will go after my lovers that give me my bread, my water, my flax, my wool, my oil. And this is how Jake looks at Esau, the ruler. Since I got to go to them for everything, well, I'm going to follow their ways too. See? They're God. They're gods. And the Christian church does not put a separation between the clean and the unclean. They don't condemn all of this wickedness. As a matter of fact, Margaret Sanger used black preachers to help because that was a thing, a taboo. All right, back in the day with Jake. All right, in the, 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 the 50s, the, 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 the early Jake, after slavery, they had some sort of morals. Even after being taken out of hardcore slavery, okay, Jake was, was you know, when they were on their own, all right, uh, segregated separate from esau they had their own printing companies they had all kind of stuff going on and they were somewhat following the lord you know they were going off but they were more together they were better off and then to destroy that you know you had all of these movements civil rights you know which was rooted in wickedness and idol worship and sodomites you know all of those dudes were sodomites all of those civil rights leaders they were all sodomites openly right and then, you know, the uh, women's liberation, okay, uh, uh, but Margaret Sanger, the, the uh, founder of Planned Parenthood, she went to the black preacher because she said the way into these people's minds is through spiritual leaders, and it was the black preachers, all right, who gave the go-ahead, okay, let's start doing this. See? So... 
Let me see. Let's keep reading. And she shall follow after her lovers, Hosea 2 and 7, and she shall not overtake them. She's going to lose. And see, she shall seek them, but not find them. Then she shall say, I will go and return to my first husband, for it was better with me than now. And see, that's the mindset of the elect, the faithful woman. See, we're not going to make the same mistake Eve made by listening to the serpent. Now we've seen the results of listening to the serpent. And we're like, you know what? I'm going back to my husband. I want the original order I had. That, that was better for me. The two thirds ain't figured it out yet, but they're not created to figure it out. They were created to rebel, to be the standard of wickedness. Just like uh, Noah had to witness stay wicked asses. Well, we have to wicked, uh, uh, as we are turning back to the Lord, we have to look at our people in the most degenerate state. For she did not know that I gave her corn and wine and oil and multiplied her silver and gold, which they prepared for Baal. See, that's what our people are doing. They're using their money. She donated money to Planned Parenthood, which is for Baal, man. But see, the elect is like, you know what? It was better with, 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 with the, the order we had in the beginning. See, the, the serpent came to ultimately free the woman from her order. And this is what they're doing through these 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 entertainers. They're trying to free you from the order of Yahweh Bashim Shah telling you that there's a better way. And see, Eve was fooled by that. See, and Eve represents the church. But now you have the faithful woman, all right, who's coming back to her senses, man, saying, you know what? <laughs> I'm not following this nigga no more. I'm going back to my husband. I repent. I'm sorry. So as you keep reading here. So, so the Lord said he's going to judge us as you keep reading, man, and destroy us. But as you keep reading, he's going to have mercy through a remnant, man, who's going to turn back and be faithful, man. All right. The restoration of Israel there. Verse 14. Therefore, behold, I will allure her and bring her into the wilderness and speak comfort to her. And I will give her vineyards, yada, yada, yada. As you keep reading. He's going to take away all of that. Verse 17, for I will take away the names of Balaam out of her mouth and they shall no more be remembered by their name. And I will make a covenant with them. So ultimately, through the remnant returning from their wh whorish ways, you know, and not doing the wickedness that uh, our, the rest of our people are doing, hey, w the, the, we're going to be restored to life, man, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemiah So hopefully y'all will edify it, you know. <laughs> Madness Shalom